I started as a statistician and as an applied mathematician, so I could see the power of mathematics and the application it has, and so I was really seduced. My name is Emmanuel Candice, and I am an applied mathematician. What does a statistician do? We tease signals and noise apart, and so that's my basic training. So compressed sensing is a discovery that you can acquire signals of interest from far fewer measurements that you thought were necessary. The magnetic resonance imaging is this kind of wonderful imaging modality that lets you image internal tissues within your body non-invasively. But the problem is it takes a long time to acquire uh, a scan. And so what researchers wanted to do was to think about how we can get high quality imaging, but much more rapidly. And that poses a challenge it's because all of a sudden there's a lot of missing data. We applied an algorithm and the reconstructions were good. More recently, I've worked with a radiologist from New York University on trying to basically reconstruct video sequences from MRI data. And so by actually pulling all the tricks we knew, we were able to really produce high quality videos. An application also in medical imaging is in the area of uh, computer tomography. Here again, compressed sensing says that perhaps you can get a similar quality of imaging with less radiation dosage. And so people have been able to use the techniques we've developed. And on the radio, I heard the Netflix challenge. Netflix was interested in the following problem. How we, can we guess how you're going to like the ratings or your preference for a movie that you have not yet seen? It sounds like it's a compressed sensing problem. Okay. There are many problems on the face of the earth by how much can the FDR go up? that are not the Netflix problems, but I have exactly the same structure, where you have large data tables, you assume that rows or columns are correlated, you're missing a lot of information and you'd like to impute. One striking example is a phase retrieval problem in X-ray crystallography, which can be cast in this form. What's remarkable is that it draws from different areas of mathematics, it draws from linear algebra, it draws from convex optimization and optimization in general. It draws from geometry. It draws from probability theory. It draws from many different fields, and that's by putting all these sub-areas of knowledge together that you arrive at a comprehensive theory that is useful and that lets you do more. I'm interested in new challenges posed by the big data era and I'm very interested in trying to develop statistical tools that will help us address issues of reproducibility in the sciences. I'm very grateful that the fellowship recognizes me, but a lot of my work has been done in collaboration with students. There were so many great people before me. I think there will be fantastic people after me, and to be a link in this chain, it's an amazing feeling.